Hey there everybody, welcome back to ITTV for this mathematics lesson and my name is Joel, your tutor for this lesson. Alright, so we have looked at the first out of four functions in this chapter, graphs of functions 2. Now in this lesson, we are going to be looking at the second type of function. Now, what is the name of that function? All right, you are familiar with it also. Quadratic functions. The general form of a quadratic function is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, notice now, all right, that the highest power of x is 2. Now, what are a, b, and c? They are coefficients. But remember this, that in a quadratic function, a cannot be 0. Okay, so the value of c is the y-intercept of the graph. Whenever you see any equation involving x squared, it is a quadratic function. Alright, so the highest degree of x is 2 in a quadratic function. A typical type of quadratic function is y equals to x squared. Alright, so this is one of quadratic functions, okay, in the form of y equals to x squared, and its graph looks like this. Okay, so it is just y equals to x squared because it passes through the origin. So the y and x intercept, alright, is the origin. Now, would you be able to tell what is the equation of the following graph? Okay, so we have seen, alright, the graph of y equals to x squared. Now, take a look at this graph right here. If the first graph is y equals to 3x squared, then what happens if we just invert the graph? Okay, so it means that the coefficient takes negative. Alright, so the second graph would have an equation of y equals to negative 3x squared. Now, what happens when we move the graph above or below the x-axis? So now, let's say elevation happens and we move it, alright, above or below the x-axis. Take a look at this graph. Alright, a y-intercept with coordinates of 0c. Now, the equation is y equals to ax squared plus c. So, an example would be y equals to x squared plus 1. So, remember the earlier graph, y equals to x squared. Now, when you have the graph of y equals to x squared plus 1, it means the graph of y equals to x squared is elevated, alright, by positive 1 unit. Would you be able to tell the equation of this function? Okay, now take a look right here. So now we, you have already known, okay, the basic, all right, methods, all right, of actually identifying a quadratic function. So this graph would have an equation of y equals to negative x squared minus 1. Y negative x squared. Okay, because it is in the shape, all right, of an N or a set face. Okay, so in short, remember this. If the coefficient of x squared is positive, all right, the quadratic function graph would be, all right, a smiley face or a U shape. Okay, and it's called a parabola. All right, the name of the shape of this graph. So if the coefficient of a is negative, it would be a sad face graph. Okay, remember that. All right, so now take a look again at this graph y equals to negative x squared minus 1. Okay, now on to our first example. Based on the graph, y equals 2x squared minus 8, determine the values of p, h, and k. Okay, so we have three values right now for three unknowns. Alright, so take a look at the equation of this function y equals to 2x squared minus 8. Now, can you see h, k, and p? So notice, all right, that p is the y-intercept and h and k are the x-intercepts, okay? So that is something, all right, for you guys to start the question off. All right, so now let's discuss the solution together. All right, we will start with finding p. 
and it's very simple. Look at the function again. The equation is y equals to 2x squared minus 8. So p is the y-intercept of the graph, right? And p equals negative 8. From the equation, straight away you can see that, all right, the y-intercept is negative 8. Okay, so one down. Now what about h and k? H and K are the x-intercepts of the graph. Alright, what happens at all right, the x-axis? Y is 0. So remember this. Alright, so when y is 0, 2x squared minus 8 equals to 0. 2x squared equals to 8. x squared is equals to 8 divided by 2. x squared equals to 4. x is equals to positive negative the square root of 4 which means x is equals to positive 2 and negative 2. So it means that h would be negative 2. Why? Because h is on the negative part of the x-axis and k equals to 2. Alright, so as you have seen all right, earlier on in the first type of function, linear function, and also now as we all right, go on all right, to learn about quadratic functions, all right, most of the time all right, when we are asked to find the values okay, of certain unknowns, okay, which are actually part of the all right, given equation, you have to actually know. Okay? All right, be alert. Okay? Is it all right, the intercept all right, of x or y? Okay, or in the linear function case, is it a slope or the gradient? All right, so with the knowledge of all of this, you will be able all right, to get these values all right, very fast. Okay, now let's take a look at all right, a different form of the quadratic function. Okay, well, it is still a quadratic function, but look at this. So we have actually seen that a quadratic function is y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c, but now y equals to ax squared plus bx. So there is no c here because c is equals to 0. So this function, okay, represented by this equation, can be factorized to become x bracket ax plus b. Okay, so the general form is y equals to ax squared plus bx and by factorization, you will get y equals to x bracket ax plus b. Okay, now let's take a look at a specific equation. y equals to x squared plus 2x. Okay, so notice, all right, that it is in this form of this type. So we can factorize x out. So y equals to x bracket x plus 2. Now to find the intercepts, remember that we replace y with 0. And hence, we will get x equals to 0 or negative 2. And those are the x-intercepts, all right, for this function. So when we actually sketch the graph, this would be its shape. Passing through 0 and negative 2 on the x-axis. Okay, so now, the quadratic function can also be in this type, type 3. y equals to mx plus p multiplied by nx plus q. So these values can be determined by the x-intercepts, all right, the values of p and q. Okay, take a look at this example. All right, so look at this graph. We know that the x-intercept, which is given right here, is negative 3 and 2. So it means that we can actually know and we can form back, all right, the equation. So since x is negative 3 and x is equals 2, we can actually all right, form back the factors x plus 3, x minus 2. So the equation for this graph is y equals to x plus 3, all right, x minus 2. Okay, so now what about this graph? Alright, so the answer y equals to negative x minus 3, x minus 2. Okay, because remember it is the parabola which is in the shape of an n. Okay, so the coefficient of x squared is negative. So remember that the most important characteristic all right, of a quadratic function is you have an x squared. Alright, the highest power of x is 2. But remember, a, the coefficient, all right, for x squared cannot be zero. Okay, now let's practice, all right, sketching graphs of quadratic functions. Sketch the following graphs. A, 
y equals to x squared minus 16. B, y equals to x minus 5, x plus 3. Okay, now let's sketch this together on the board. Okay, guys, to sketch the graph of y equals to x squared minus 16, Okay, so remember, okay, this is the final sketch, okay, but how do we get it? Okay, I'll just show you. Alright, so y equals to x squared minus 16, okay? So look, first of all, we know that negative 16 is the y-intercept because at the y-axis, x is 0. So when x is 0, y is negative 16. So negative 16, alright, is prepared right here. Okay, how do we get these values, which are the x-intercepts, okay? So, let's go back to y equals to x squared minus 16. We know that, all right, at the x-axis, on the x-axis, y is equals to 0. And when y is equals to 0, so we replace 0, okay? And then in the equation, and this is what we get. All right, so solve this equation to find the values of x. Okay, so x would be actually the positive and negative value of the square root of 16, which is, all right, positive 4 or negative 4. Okay, so that is why the x-intercept will be 4 and negative 4. Okay, so once we have got this, this and this, we just have to draw, okay, a smooth curve that passes through the three points. So the graph of y equals to x squared minus 16, which is a quadratic function, would be a graph that is symmetrical or right, about the y-axis. Now let's take a look at the second graph, okay? Alright, so it has all right, an equation of y equals to x minus 5, x plus 3. So notice that on the right here, it is already factorized. Okay, so how do we get all the values? Again, now I would expand this first. Okay, so let's expand it. Y equals to x squared plus 3x minus 5x minus 15. Okay, so Y is equals to x squared minus 2x minus 15. Okay, so one look here, all right, so we have made it back into the general form because from here we can know that the y-intercept is negative 15 because, all right, on the y-axis, x is 0. Okay, so then y is negative 15. So we place it right here. Okay, and how do we get, all right, the x-intercepts? By replacing y as 0. So when y is 0, since this is already factorized, we can get the intercepts x equals to 5, or from here, x equals negative 3. Alright, so then we just join them with a smooth curve, and there you go, the sketch for this graph. Okay, now let's take a look at an objective question. Which of the following graphs represent y equals to negative x squared plus 5. Okay, so take a look again at this function. Alright, so y equals to negative x squared plus 5. Tell yourself, okay, what will the shape be? Okay, is the intercept, alright, already there for you? Okay, so remember the coefficient of x squared will tell you the shape, whether it's a smiley, alright, graph or a sad one. Alright, so is it A, B, C or D. Okay, so I'll just give you a while, all right, to pick a solution, all right, based on the given quadratic function. Now let's take a look at the solution, alright? So from y equals to negative x squared plus 5, given equation right here, we know that, firstly, the shape of the graph is n, okay, or a set phase graph because a, the coefficient of x squared equals negative 1, which is less than 0. And we know that the y-intercept is 5. 
All right, so the only graph, okay, which has both, all right, of these characteristics is the graph in D. And therefore, the answer is D. Okay, now let's take a look at the next example. The diagram shows the graph of the function y equals negative x multiplied by x minus p. Okay, so just look a while at the equation. There. This is the graph. The value of p is a, negative 4, b, 2, c, 4, d, negative 2. Alright, so what is the answer? Okay, so be very careful here, all right, especially when you have the negative sign. Okay, you must be very careful, okay, with that. So, now let's check out the solution. The graph cuts the x-axis at 0 and negative 2 respectively, right? Okay, take a look again at the graph and you can see 0 and negative 2. So, we have actually learned, all right, this type of quadratic function early on, all right, in this lesson. So, thus, the equation of the graph should be y equals to negative x, all right, bracket x plus 2. Now, note the opposite sign. You have to have x plus 2 in the bracket. Then only it would give you an intercept of negative 2. Therefore, the value of p is negative 2. Okay, because you have to get x plus 2. And since it is x minus p, therefore x minus negative 2 would give you x plus 2. Okay, now let's take a look back at what we have learned in this lesson, alright? So a quick review would be, alright, we have learned, alright, about the quadratic function in this lesson. So it adds, alright, to the knowledge of what we have learned, alright, in the previous lesson, which is about linear functions. So we have learned already two types, okay? So what we have learned is, firstly, identify and recognize various forms of quadratic function. Okay, so it's just changed a bit here and there. But remember that it always has x square inside. Alright, B. B, determine the y-intercept and x-intercepts of a quadratic function. And lastly, we have also learned how to sketch the graph of a given quadratic equation. Alright guys, so that's it all right, for this lesson. I'll see you guys all right, for more of the functions all right, in the next lesson.